Hey everyone, so today is going to be the first day of men's quarterfinals at Wimbledon. We've got two matches, Alcaraz versus Tommy Paul and Sinner versus Medvedev. The matches are going to start in about a couple of hours from now. So let's discuss the stats, the head-to-head, -head, the form and try to predict the winner. So if we try to look at the head-to-head -head record, let's first look at the head-to-head -head record for Alcaraz and Tommy Paul. Now, these players have played with each other four times and it's tied at 2-2 and all the matches were on hard courts and they went the distance. So, they were very close. Either they went to tie breaks or those were three setters. Now, one thing to remember here is that all the matches were on hard courts and those were slow hard courts. So, it gave chance to Tommy Paul as well as Alcaraz to sort of play from baseline cat and mouse sort of game a lot of variety used and that's and those were lengthy matches okay but this time because it's grass it's a completely different surface and alcaraz as you know has proved that he is much better on grass as compared to the other players in this category and i feel for tommy paul in this match it will be a very different exposure of alcaraz different than he has seen so far and it's going to favor Alcaraz heavily because the variety the movement which Alcaraz has on this surface it's it's very similar to Djokovic how he moves how he slides and how he's able to inject pace and that injected pace in this match is going to be crucial and Alcaraz will be able to do it time and time again that is why I feel he will be the favorite in this match We'll try to predict, but that's one of the important points. Now, on the other hand, if we talk about Sinner and Medvedev, now Medvedev leads the head-to-head -head six matches to five, but we have to remember that the last five meetings, Sinner has won all of them. So clearly Sinner has got the number of Medvedev. Now he knows how to beat him. And of course, Sinner has improved so much as a player that he, he is tough to beat for anyone. So one thing which I want to mention and maybe I'll cover this in the key factors is that Medvedev knows how to beat Sinner, but the important part is the execution. He has the strategy, but will he be able to execute it throughout the course of the five setter if the match goes the distance? That is the question. Now, if I talk about the key shots and factors, so the number one thing is Medvedev's first serve percentage and his strategy. This is very important against Sinner. So he needs to be aggressive. He needs to focus on the first serve percentage because at Wimbledon, that could prove helpful for him. Uh, when we saw the Australian Open this year, Medvedev played perfect first two sets and won against Sinner. But then suddenly he got back to his old strategy of defending from the baseline or getting involved in too many rallies from the baseline which favored Sinner. Sinner was playing aggressive throughout but in the first two sets Medvedev did not give any chance to Sinner to play his game because he was just ultra aggressive playing from both forehand and backhand and serve coming to the net. This is what he needs to do but now the question is will he be able to do it for the complete three sets? That is the important part. Now, if we talk about Sinner, he has to focus on the forehand because he has got a good serve. Once he lets that serve in, he will get a weak reply from Medvedev and then he can use his forehand to dictate play. So that is going to be the strategy on his serve. And on the return, he just needs to wait for Medvedev's second serve and then attack. Even if it's a rally, I feel Sinner is going to come up uh, as a winner in those rallies and that is because he's got too much variety his movement is good and overall he's more aggressive than Medvedev whether it's the backhand or the forehand and the slow and low balls even though we suspect that Sinner would face difficulty to handle those balls but it hasn't happened right so he is very quickly able to get down impart a lot of top spin up and down quickly and then hit those shots also for winners so Sinner I think needs to focus more on his forehand and just try to play how he has been playing throughout this tournament for Alcaraz now going 
back to the other match, Alcaraz versus Tommy Paul. I think Alcaraz game, he doesn't need to do too many changes. He's playing well. Uh, mentally also, he's playing okay. He has come back from two sets to one down. A couple of occasions, he, had, he has faced challenges as well. Last match also, the main thing for Alcaraz is to maintain his concentration and fitness. I have mentioned fitness just because he has played a lot more matches than Sinner or Medvedev in terms of the hours that he has put in. So, he may be, a tire, may be tired a little bit because he is also coming off a victory at the French Open. So, it all gets accumulated throughout the year. That is one point. But other than that, his concentration is, is a bit worrying because he has lost that in, a, in the last two or three matches. So, he needs to focus on that and try to stay at a consistent level throughout the match. Although I still feel he has got such a good game, such a good skill set and such variety that sooner or later his form comes back and it doesn't hurt him. It won't cause him to lose the match, at least against the likes of Tommy Paul. Now, the closed roof will favor Medvedev. So, that is true because Medvedev also likes to play on quick surfaces. He has mentioned he's a hardcore player and uh, he likes that hardcore surface. So when the roof is closed, it's it's indoor and the ball you know goes quicker through the air and the ball doesn't bounce that much. So it is as similar to a hard court as it can get. So it will favor Medvedev. But again, he needs to put his first serve and he needs to be aggressive. Now, what can Medvedev and Paul do to cause an upset? I think I have covered that point. But let's just go through it again. So, Medvedev needs to play exactly how he did for the first two sets at the Australian Open. He needs to serve big and be ultra aggressive. When it comes to Paul, he needs to use his variety and wait for his chances. If Paul is able to hold his serve and take the sets to 4-all, 5-all, those sort of scores. We haven't seen Alcaraz uh, getting exposed in terms of those score lines. A lot in this tournament right so when that happens it gives paul an opportunity to take risks and because of their history no matter which court it was because they have played a lot of close matches it will be in the minds of both the players so when it comes to four all and five all this may impact the other player right whoever is taking risks may be rewarded so when we talk about the predictions i think everyone is predicting the same thing so it's going to be Sinner who will win against Medvedev. But again, it could be in four sets. I feel that Medvedev should get at least one set based on the strategy that he's going to apply. If he's aggressive, it might work for some time. And with Alcaraz, again, he also, I think, will win in four sets. He might also win in three sets. Uh, but I feel both Sinner and Alcaraz will go through. So that's all in this video. Thanks for watching.